So you're right in the middle of your next e-learning course when you need to animate a list of text. Now, this could be a step list or a bulleted list, but how do you get those items to animate one line at a time? Hi folks, my name is William Everhart and I'm one of the trainers here at eLearning Uncovered. And today I'd like to show you how you can create one of these animated lists in just a few steps. Now, animating a list of text is not a new feature by any means. In fact, it's been around since the very first version of Storyline. Unfortunately, it's one of those little features that is so easily overlooked that most people just forget it even exists. So let's take a closer look at the animation effects that can be applied to a list. Here we have our slide and we have our text that we want to animate. Now this element, I don't necessarily want to animate, so it is a separate text item. However, the text that I do want to animate is right here. And this text is one singular text frame or text box. And what a lot of folks would do is they would actually create this as separate blocks of text and then animate each one of those blocks. And while there's nothing wrong with that, that can be a little bit more troublesome when it comes time to make edits or if it's time to update your e-learning course. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you create that same effect using a singular text box. So of course, the first step is to insert that text box, which we have. Then you want to enter multiple paragraphs of text. Now, whether you're creating a bulleted list, numbered list, or just blocks of text, Anything that you want to animate individually has to be its own paragraph. So in my case, each one of these sentences ends with a paragraph return. Next, we want to apply the animation to the text box. So I'll go right up here to my animations ribbon, and this will work on both entrance animations and exit animations. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, it does not work with the motion path animations. So I'm gonna choose an entrance animation. And in my case, I'm gonna choose the fade animation. Now, once I've applied that animation, let's preview this. Now here we can see that yes, it did in fact animate the text, but as we suspected, it animated all of the text. And that's not really what we're after. We want each one of those lines to animate individually. Well, let's get back to Storyline and go ahead and add that option. So now we're back here looking at our slide in Storyline and I still have that text box selected. So I wanna go back up here to where I inserted that fade animation. And you've probably seen this menu item before. It's called Effect Options. And typically we use this to change some property of the animation and usually that is something like a direction. However, there is another option here. It's right down here at the bottom and it's called a sequence. Now you'll only see the sequence appear if you're animating a text box. So by default, it will animate that text box as a singular object. And what we wanted to do is to take a look inside that text box and animate each one of those paragraphs. So our sequence option here, by paragraph. Now let's take another quick peek at this animation in action. So let's preview it. Once again, our text is animating, but now we can see that indeed it is animating one paragraph at a time. But did you notice the timing of those animations? They seem to occur one right after the other, and it still happened relatively fast. So how can we slow this down? I'm going to go back to Storyline here, and I'm going to take a look once again at that text box. So the text box is selected here. The little star here to the left indicates that I do indeed have an animation applied to this object. But there's one other area that is so often overlooked, and that's right down here in the timeline. So here we can see that the text box is highlighted here in the timeline. But take a look here to the far left. This little icon is a disclosure triangle. And if I click on it, I will reveal each one of those paragraphs as an individual object in the timeline. Now, I'm just going to adjust the height of my timeline so we can see the rest of those items. So if I want to change the timing, 
or the duration of each individual object? Now I can. What I would like to do is maybe offset the first one here so that it starts maybe one second into the slide. Now for each additional item in the list, I want to animate them two seconds after the previous item. When you're done, you should end up with something like a stair step effect. Let's go ahead and preview this one last time. And that, my friends, is how you properly animate a list of text. Now, if you'd like to learn more about using Articulate Storyline, then be sure to check out our online workshops at elearninguncovered.com forward slash training forward slash online workshops.